Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm gonna be doing a review on my Wilson A2000 Glove of the Month September model number WTA20RB15LE SCP. So limited edition September. Um, it's a Glove of the Month September, like I said, for the Wilson. I was 2014. Um. I think that's why it says, oh, 15. I don't know, I, but I know it's a 2014. Because I really wanted this glove when I first started getting into gloves. Um, but yeah. So I'm just going to go over like the leather and stuff and what I think of the whole glove. Not really go over the specs. If you want to see what I think, like the specs of the glove and everything, go to one of my earlier videos, late or latest videos that I made. I did a review over it, but I did a like overview. I'm gonna review on this. So, A2000s are made of Pro Stock leather, not the Pro Stock, so that's like A2Ks. Pro Stock, 1788, 11.25, 1786 is 11 and a half, and 77, 1787 is 3 fourths, 11 and 3 fourths. So, this is a pretty small glove. Sorry if you hear the background. I'm watching college baseball because it's nearing the World Series. So, But this is more of a middle infield glove. Probably more of a second base because it is a really small glove. Um, but, yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. I just forgot to say. But so it does have white leather, which I've never had on a glove before. Um, it looks really good. Uh, I don't know how it's going to hold up if I ever do use it. I don't think I will, though. Because I plan on just keeping it because it's just such a nice glove. But it feels great. Um, Pro Sack leather is steer hide. So it feels really great. Um... It feel, doesn't feel anything like raw and hard to hide, but it definitely feels really nice. Um, compared to the stock Wilson A2000 I had, this is so much better. Like That was like plastic. This is like really nice high quality leather. It's very tightly grained. You guys can see. Amazing. Um, it just feels great. The gunmetal feels really smooth. Um, I think that's because of the color, because this almost feels like, I mean, I know it's not kept, but, like, it's so smooth, it somewhat does feel like it. Um, but yeah, it does have the Drylex, I um, would re probably rather have fur, but I don't really care that much. It does have the really comfortable thumb loop, um, Aaron got, a uh, Josh Donaldson, sorry Aaron, that's really near. Surprise, but he got a Josh Donaldson. That's his fault because he didn't make a video, but uh, which he will eventually. On his Josh Donaldson doll, finally getting to the point. Um, it does have the same thumb loop Wilson has, so I'm sure that's a great thing. Um, a lot of you guys saying Rawlings is copying Wilson. I mean, in a way they are, but they're also learning from other companies to become a better company. Like, if you see baseball teams that are dominating like the Yankees used to, other teams are going to try some of the same things. So they're going to try to get some of those coaches to help out and make their team better. It's what you need to do to become better just in life. So Rawlings has been trying to change to become better. It's not really been working from a lot of people's standpoint, but... Anyways, back to the review. Um, the lace is actually pretty decent. I mean, it's super stiff, but it's still pretty thick. Um, I think the pinky lace is really... Th oh, no. It's probably the worst lace on the glove. But this lace right here is actually really thick. So, yeah. This is pretty thick, too. It's okay. Um, that's just paper thin, but it's not like that lace matters at all. 
Um, but yeah, uh, they made the stitching on the glove. It's flawless. Um, way better than stock gloves. Uh, you can tell that these limited edition gloves are more well crafted than the stock ones. Um, it's just how it is. Like on um, almost every stock glove you get, you can find a little mistake, like a little stitch may pop out on all Rawlings, Wilson, probably even Mizuno. But on these limited edition ones, you really can't find anything to nitpick on because they're just so well crafted that there's really nothing to. There's a hundred year Wilson because this was 2014 and that's their hundredth year anniversary. Um, but yeah. So it's just a really well crafted glove. Uh, it does have the black stamping, which I like more than the indent. I think it just looks better, um, in my opinion. But, yeah. So, overall, this is an amazing glove. Definitely changed my view on Wilson. Um, I do have some new pickups coming in this week. And I'm super excited. You guys are going to be very surprised, but I'm super, super excited. But, yeah. Anyways, overall, this is a great glove. A really thick thumb insert. I don't, I'm not forming it at all because I don't want to do anything to it. But if I try to bend it a little bit, oh my lord, it's just thick. And then the pinky is the same, even though there is a tag. It's still really thick. Nice heel pad, not too thick, but thin. What I did notice is it's almost like it was cut out. You can kind of see right there. It's really thick right here, but then it gets thinner. Nothing that can't be pounded and stuff. Uh, it can just be put back down. But yeah, here's just a look. Um, just the, it's a really light glove too. Um, you can compare this to any other steer height glove, and it'll be either better or about the same. Um, it's not as nice as my RTD. But it's definitely pretty close. Um, way better than stock Heart of the Hides. Way better than A2000 stock gloves. I'm sure the Rawlings um, glove of the months are way better too. So yeah. I'm definitely, this has definitely made me less biased to Rawlings. Just because of how nice the quality is. Um, this has definitely helped me like Wilson a little bit more. It just feels great, and this can compete with almost any glove on the market. So yeah, um, hope you guys like this video. If you want more videos like these, where I kind of compare them and talk just about the glove, let me know. Uh, I think it's a pretty good video, but or idea. And yeah, hope you guys like this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for my next couple pickups.